intangibles that he can bring without scoring? Well, he also blocks shots. I mean, um, so here he goes, seven assists, two blocks, 17 rebounds, and he missed a couple shots that he normally would make, or he'd have been like eight out of 11. And now we went to him, if you notice, at the end of the game, we're, we're playing through him. We have to, I mean, those are the guys. And then I want those other guys, Sanchez to be the athlete, Edgar, make an open shot if it's there. We'll play off of Francisco a little bit. Jack Michael is a beast, and he didn't back down from DeMarcus. He fought, and he, you know, he's been, a, he's been a pro since he was 17 years old. So, you know, everybody did their thing. Ronald Ramon came off the bench from Pitt, did well. Um, you know, he did well. We were talking about Pena. We just need to get a couple more guys in there. Were you concerned with all that talent on the other side? Oh, yeah. You pick up your first L and rub it. Well, I wasn't worried about that. I wanted us to play well, but here's what it was. When the game started, and it's three, three, pick and roll, we can't play it, three. Everybody in the building said this is going to be 130 to, and, and then they settled down. I think their legs a little bit, because if you would have seen us practice the first three, four days here, Francisco did not make a shot until three days ago, literally. So now he's getting his legs back after 10 days of practice. Well, that's what John Wall and they, they haven't played like this. You may play a pickup game. This was like a bat. There was 25,000 people in there. And this was a different deal. It was on TV. And now you're getting other, I mean, they didn't, they didn't have their legs underneath them, and we did. Coach, with the reaction they had towards Edgar and all that in the beginning, and then all the craziness surrounding the Yum Center, does the energy of that rivalry ever surprise you at all? Well, you know, Coach and I have talked about it. It's, you know, I guess it's good for our state. You know? Yeah. Gets, it's look good. At, just look at the blue that was up there in those stands. And this was a, this was a different crowd. This was people that don't have season tickets. I think it was great that we had uh, such enthusiasm in there for the Kentucky group, and uh, the crowd was awesome. It was it was a great night for Kentucky basketball. Dell Harris in the NBA looks around and says, "What what is happening? What is this? Like this is not. See, we all think this is normal. This is not normal now." An exhibition game, August 15th, and it's packed, and it's on TV, and they're going at each other, and people are, there are going to be people mad tomorrow that our team lost. We'll be at the water pool. I can't believe we lost that game. What? I may be hung in effigy tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Last two months. Anybody? Um, Joe, it looked like a couple times. Was Rondo coaching the team in there in the huddle and you just were kind of letting him go? Uh, we had a lot of coaches. <laughs> <laughs> They're, uh, the players, they wanted to win and uh, they tried to get themselves together. Uh, they knew each other. They knew what they could do. And uh, yeah, they were, they were doing a lot of coaching. Not only Rondo, but Wall and cousins and uh, they came up with things that they wanted me to do they wanted nazi in there and try to do big man at one time they uh they wanted to go to the zone the two three wasn't bad but the three two was horrible but uh they they came up with ideas all night and uh, certainly they knew more about it than i did because they knew themselves Thank you.